Let's consider the following factorial expressions and evaluate them. Let's begin by evaluating 29 factorial divided by 25 factorial. To do this, we will rewrite 29 factorial as 29 times 28 times 27 times 26 times 25 factorial. We will end at 25 factorial because the denominator is already equal to 25 factorial. Copy the denominator, which is 25 factorial, and then cancel 25 factorial in the numerator and in the denominator. After that, multiply 29 times 28 times 27 times 26. So that is the expression that's left after we cancel out 25 factorial, both in numerator and in the denominator. This is now equal to 570,024. Next, let's evaluate 9 factorial divided by 17 factorial. Since numerator is less than the denominator, we will go ahead and rewrite the denominator as 17 times 16 times 15 times 10 times 9 factorial. Copy 9 factorial in the numerator. And this 9 factorial here and the 9 factorial here will cancel out. 1 divided by then just multiply everything that is left in the denominator. And this is equal to 1 divided by, the denominator is equal to 980,179,200. Then we'll just leave our answer like that. Next, let us subtract 6 factorial and 3 factorial. To do that, we will first evaluate 6 factorial. 6 factorial is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 minus 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1. Multiplying this that is equal to 720. 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. 720 minus 6 is 714. And for the next expression here, we have 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 5 parentheses factorial. We will first simplify the 1 inside the parentheses. 8 minus 5, that is 3 factorial. So the denominator is 3 factorial and the numerator is 8 factorial. Then we will rewrite 8 factorial as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Copy 3 factorial in the denominator. We can cancel 3 factorial here both in the numerator and in the denominator and then we will just multiply 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 and that is equal to 6720. Now let's evaluate the following permutation expressions. Permutation 6 taken 4 this is equal to 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 4 factorial. That is equal to 6 factorial divided by the denominator. Solve first the one inside the parentheses. So you have 6 minus 4. That is equal to 2. So 2 factorial. Then to simplify, we will rewrite 6 factorial as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial and the denominator is 2 factorial. Cancel 2 factorial for both numerator and denominator. Multiply 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 and that is equal to 360. 
solve permutation 8 taken 3. This is just equal to 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 3 factorial. This is just the same as 8 factorial, the numerator, and the denominator. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5, so that is 5 factorial. To simplify this, we will rewrite 8 factorial as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Copy 5 factorial in the denominator. We can cancel 5 factorial, both numerator and denominator. That leaves us with 8 times 7 times 6, and that is equal to 336. Now for this next permutation expression, we have 7 permutation taken 7. This is equal to 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 7 factorial. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. So we have 7 factorial divided by 0 factorial. Take note that 0 factorial is always equal to 1. But this is just equal to 7 factorial. 7 factorial is just 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Multiplying them will give us 5040. Next, let's compute permutation 5 taken 0. This is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 0 factorial. This is the same as 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 0 is still 5. 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial is equal to 1.